stretch, breathe, and relax all in one class for those serving in a military role out of Utah. The Red Cross is providing classes, and here to share more is U.S. veteran and yoga instructor Yolanda Ruthfuss. Welcome, so happy to have you Thank here. You. I'm, glad to be here. I'm excited to chat with you and learn some yoga poses and breathing in just a little bit. But first of all, let's talk about what it is the American Red Cross is doing to help the Armed Forces team with staying calm, staying zen, and learning these skills. So um, a while back, I got an email saying, hey, we're doing something for armed service veterans. Does any, do any of you have any skills? And I'm like, hey, I could do yoga and meditation, <laughs> but it has to be out of the South Jordan VA clinic, because that's my neck of the woods. And for me, it is so important, because most of us that have been in the military and the dependents, it's harder for the dependents, let me tell you. Um, we come out with a lot of aches and pains and trauma that could be physical or emotional. So doing yoga and meditation is one wonderful way to help start to balance the body, which is what the body wants. Yeah, and to work through all yes. of that. You say whether it is physical or emotional. Now you have been teaching yoga for a little over a year, but when did you start incorporating it into your own life? So I started a long, long time ago, um, and I just did it because I liked it. But uh, initially, I always thought of yoga was one of those where you like put yourself into a pretzel, and I would go to these classes. I was like, I can't do that. And then you know, I would I would take it slow. And a couple of summers ago, I decided to take a class through uh, Breathe for Change, and they're wonderful. And they're like, Well, you need all your props, and I'm like. I'm not gonna spend all that money. So I've come to realize that you don't need to spend a whole bunch of money. You could use a pillow, you could use a blanket, you could use blocks, whatever. I also happen to always have a diffuser with me because if it smells good, it's going to trigger your brain to feel good. Yeah, all of the and, senses. And then your, the sounds. And so like one of the best things I actually use is my daughter's little girl sleeping mat. I was gonna take it to Sabres, for donation, I was like, hey, I could use that. Save so. that if you're using it. All right, Yolanda, come up here with me. Let's hop on our mats, and I want you to take me through some of the things that you will be taking the other veterans through. And this is important to note that yoga and meditation are proven tools to help manage stress, lower heart rates, and improve your physical health. Yes. Okay, do we start so, down or start let's standing? Let's start okay. down here. And we call this settling in. And you just sit down in any way that feels comfortable for you. Some people will use a meditation cushion or whatever, and some people say, well, you have to sit crisscross applesauce, whatever. You don't. It's any way that feels good to you, and you're going to be able to just be there for a little bit. Now, research has shown that as little as five minutes of meditation a day has made drastic changes to the brain chemistry, and it's, it's wonderful. We could squeeze five minutes in. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it doesn't have to be five minutes straight. The other thing about meditation is you have to realize that it's not about just me being absolutely still for those five minutes. Your mind's gonna wander, because it does that, and it's okay. So we start any which way. This is one of my favorites. Um, and then you close your eyes, and you could breathe normally. You could count your breath, so you could do a mantra. The one I love to do is, I am healthy, I am strong. because. I don't always feel healthy or strong. Yeah. So, let's take three good deep breaths. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Reciting the mantra as I am you healthy. are breathing. I am strong. Okay, and what's the next physical part that you would go into in our final few moments here? So, that's it. That's it. So you don't have to like do anything specific. But like I said, if you get distracted, it's like, hey, distraction, how's it going? And then just carry on. Um, and I finally got to 15 minutes and I've only once have I been able to go through without like, how much longer do I have? So, and I've doing it for years, so it's okay. Because you're training your body, yes. you're training your brain. Let's talk about when the classes are offered, September 1st and 15th, October 6th and 20th from 4 to 5 p.m. And this is all at the South Jordan VA yes. clinic. Yes. And who is welcome and how do they attend? So any veteran and their dependents are welcome. 
because like I said, being a dependent of a service member is so hard. People always think it's hard just for the veteran or the service member, but it's really hard for them because they stay home. Yeah. And they're worried and they're stressed. They need it too. Yes. This is beneficial for that whole family and the community that it does affect. We will link to how to register, the location, everything you need to know on our website. Thank you so much, Yolanda. Thanks.